So, in this example, we begin with a blood pH of 7.41. What we want to find is the hydronium concentration of our blood and the hydroxide concentration of our blood. So before we begin, let's review exponents. Remember, exponents is simply another way of writing logs, and logs is simply another way of writing exponents. And we can convert from one form to the other whenever it's convenient. For example, let's look at this above statement here. We have our base is x, our exponent is e, and our y is our result. So this guy equals this guy. Now we can convert from this form to the log form. And the log form basically states that our log of our base x, in parentheses is our result y, and this equals our exponent. So why is this useful? Well, let's see. If we know our base, and we know our y, the result, and we don't know our e, there's nothing we can do in this form to solve this problem. But what we can do is simply convert this guy to log form. And we get log of x, which is what we know, in parentheses is our y, which is also what we know, and we want to find our e. So now we have this entire guy, we don't have this guy. So now what we can do is simply plug this guy into the calculator, get an answer, and that's our e. Now suppose we were in the opposite situation. Suppose we had our log x, our base, and we had our exponent, and we didn't have our y. Well now we don't have this entire thing, so we can't plug this into our calculator. What we must do is convert from this guy to the exponent form. Because we have the base x, we have the y, uh, the e, the exponent. Now we have x to the e, plug that into the calculator, and we get our y. And this is exactly what we do in part one. So in, in part one, let's first write down our formula for pH. We know pH is equal to the negative log of our hydronium concentration. But that's the same thing as saying negative log of the hydride ion concentration. So that means this guy equals this guy. And we know from what's given that our pH is 7.41. So this guy equals 7.41. So let's go back here for a second. So we have our exponent, we have e, we have our log, which is log 10, we have the 10, we have the x, we don't have our inside, so we don't have our y. So we're in a situation where we can't solve in this form for the y. What we must do is we must convert from this form to the exponent form. So the equivalent way of writing logs and exponents is taking our base, base x, writing it here, okay, then taking our exponent, our exponent, and writing it here. But wait, we have a negative log. So this negative, we bring over to here by simply dividing or multiplying both sides by negative 1. This guy cancels, becomes a positive. This guy becomes a negative. We get 10 to the negative 7.41 is equal. Now we take our calculator, we simply plug it into our calculator, and we find our result, namely 3.89 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. And this is equivalent to this guy and this guy. This is our hydride ion concentration as well as our hydronium ion concentration. So we found part one. So let's move on to part two. So the first step in part two is writing the equation for our dissociation of water. So water in the liquid state dissociates into two ions namely H plus ion in the aqueous state and OH minus ion in the aqueous state. Notice that we have one mole becomes one mole and one mole. So now let's write the equilibrium constant equation. So our constant Kw, which is what uh, we don't know, but we could find that in a textbook or online, so this is something we actually know, equals concentration of hydroxide times concentration of hydride. So we know this. This is what we found here upstairs, right? We don't know this. What we, this is what we want to find, and we know this as well. This, if you look up online at 25 degrees Celsius, is simply 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14, and that always holds true. So you should probably remember that. So this guy equals our unknown times what we found from part 1, 3.89 times 10 to the negative 8. We bring this guy over here, we solve, 
divide 1.0 times 10 to negative 14 divided by 3.89 times 10 to negative 8, we get 2.57 times 10 to the negative 7. So this is our concentration of our hydroxide within our blood. So we did part one, we did part two. Part three basically to, uh, asks us to, to, uh, to say if our blood is basic or acidic. Well, this is the easiest part because if it's 7.41 and 7.41 is above 7, anything above 7 is basic, then our blood is basic or slightly basic because it's a little bit above 